When you hear the word genre, you probably think of stories. Action, romance, comedy, drama, mystery, fantasy. This is the traditional definition of genre, a category that indicates what kind of story you're going to hear, whether in terms of mood, plot, or setting. When it comes to games, however, things are a bit different. Let's find out how. Genre is the kind of game you're playing. This version of genre isn't about mood, story, or style, but rather the kinds of actions you take in a given game. Game genres are usually named according to what the player does. For example, a first-person shooter is any game where you shoot things from a first-person perspective. A role-playing game, or RPG, has the player take on the role of one or more characters and develop their skills and personality. A platformer tasks the player with guiding a character between different platforms by running and jumping. These are just a few of the most common game genres. Genres are a useful way of categorizing games and making them easier to quickly understand. A game's title can only communicate so much. For example, if someone told you about a game called Metal Gear Solid, but gave you no other information, you'd know essentially nothing about it. You might guess that it has something to do with machines. However, if that person also told you it's a stealth game, then you know it involves doing a lot of sneaking around and trying not to get caught. You may not know the rules or the controls, but at least you have some idea of what to expect. Video games aren't the only kind of game to have genres. Take sports, for example. Some sports have names that indicate what they're about. Basketball is a game about trying to get a ball into a basket. Not every sport is named as clearly, though. Golf gives no indication as to what players need to do. If, however, you said that golf is a turn-based game about hitting a ball with a stick, then you have some idea of what to expect and how to play. It doesn't tell you everything, of course. Billiards, croquet, and baseball all fit that genre definition, too. Unlike sports, video games can actually have multiple kinds of genres. There's the game genre, but there's also the story genre. Many games tell stories or have a particular fictional setting, and so the traditional kind of genre can also be used to describe them. A game could be a science fiction first-person shooter, or a romance turn-based strategy game, or a mystery puzzler. These genres might not affect how you play the game, but they can still be an integral part of the experience. Another way video games are unique is in how frequently they combine different game genres. Sure, there are plenty of plain old puzzle games out there, but there are also puzzle platformers, first-person puzzlers, even puzzle battle royale. Some of the most popular and acclaimed video games ever made take the best elements of several different genres of gameplay and combine them to form something new. While most game genres are named according to the actions players take, others are unique or specific enough that they are named after the game or games that pioneered said genre. For example, before the first-person shooter was as ubiquitous as it is today, games of their kind were often called Doom clones, in reference to the game that popularized the genre. Another such genre is the Metroidvania, named after two similar pioneering series of games called Metroid and Castlevania. Sometimes, genres are dependent on their game's controllers, what kind of device is used to play them. A point-and-click adventure game is named as such because it's designed to be played primarily or exclusively with a mouse, and a text adventure game requires a keyboard for typing commands. Some genres, like certain RPGs or competitive strategy games, require a mouse and keyboard to manage lots of inputs and provide as much precision as possible. As video games grow and evolve, so do gaming genres. Who knows what new and unique genres we'll see appear or become popular in the next few years? Only time will tell. Even now, the breadth and diversity of video game genres can be intimidating for new gamers, and certain genres can be difficult to get started with or understand for anyone not familiar with them. That's why I'm starting a new video series called Gaming Glossary, which gives quick, easy-to-understand definitions of common gaming terms, starting with a few of the most popular genres. Episode 1 is all about the platformer, and you can watch it right now by clicking the annotation on screen or the link in the description. If you have any questions about this episode or suggestions for future topics, feel free to leave a comment or shoot me an email. And to get updates whenever there's a new video, follow us on social media and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.